Hey man, Mike Hickey here from Venom Inc. We're in Chicago tonight playing a Riot Fest Presents show at the Cobra Lounge. I'm gonna show you some gear. Check it out. It's one of the guitars I brought with me. It's an 80s Charvel, formerly owned by the great Keith Scott and used by the great Brian Adams in the famous video with Tina Turner. It's only love. I bought this about 20 years ago and uh, it's always been a good rock and roll machine. It's, you know, it cuts like a knife, as they say. <laughs> so it's got the Floyd Rose, Seymour Duncan, and we call it the Black Demon. And that was the name given to it by Brian Adams. Yeah, so on, on these guitars, we're tuning to C sharp across the board, just standard tuning, but down at C sharp. And um, I'm using uh, Ernie, Ernie Ball Beefy, sl beefy Slinkies, 12, uh, 11 to 54, with an unwound third. And that's an old Duncan Custom real great pickup and uh, this single coil I don't really use I'm mainly running a one home situation and most of the night I'll be on 10 because that's a great setting this is my second guitar I have here this is a Charvel Mutt the uh, necks from probably about 1980 it's a mighty might body and uh, just nothing to it basic it's got a one and three quarter inch neck on it and uh, Again, I'm using the Duncan Custom, real old one. This one's microphonic, you can talk through it. Old Floyd Rose, it's on the deck. It doesn't pull up, keeps it in tune nice. Same gauges on this, same tuning. Um, and I've been using the other one as the main guitar. We're gonna do a couple repairs on this today, and I'm gonna maybe run this as the uh, main guitar tonight and see how it goes. And I've had this about 20 years as well. Okay, so, the pedal board chain is very simple. It's specific to this tour. I got a tuner mute. Goes into the T, uh, yeah, it's TS9 tube screamer. It's not an old one, it's just a reshoot. This is an original Boss CE2 from the 80s. And this is a, a Valbruck made in Germany by a friend of mine. Um, it's an analog delay. I use it for two songs. Uh, for the intro of Buried Alive and the intro of Seven Gates of Hell to uh, replicate what Jeff Mantis did on the recordings. And uh, there's nothing to it. Got the Voodoo Lab pedal power, power and all, nice and silent. Um, I'm running a Klotz Joe Bonamassa cable with the, uh, the Nutrix shutoff jack so when I switch guitars there's no noise. And uh, the other cables uh, Planet Waves and you know, standard stuff you can all get and uh, they run into tonight I'm running one amp and one cab the cab is graciously uh, loaned to me by 72 legions and it's, I believe it's got Celestian Vintage 30s and I'm running into my trusty PV5150 I bought brand new in 1993 and uh, I use that in a band called Carcass who uh, they play some heavy kind of music or something, I don't know. And then sometimes I'll be running two amps with two cabs, but due to size limitations. So this is my second or spare. This is a nocturnal amulet made by a friend of mine in Massachusetts, and it's a EL34 based high gain monster. And uh, it really complements the 5150 because the 5150 has six L6s, which are a little cleaner. Uh, output level and this gives you a little more martially crunch it's hard to explain but yeah it's a great great amp to have and he's an up-and-coming amp maker um, so my main settings on the 5150 which I've basically used for years I run everything around seven and it might vary just a little bit and sometimes the on the outport section there's a resonance knob so I cut back the lows just a little if I'm playing some other style of music, I might keep the, the lows up high. And I keep the, the presence up around six or seven as well. And the gains on seven, I'm using the clean channel with the crunch button in and the bright button in. And then, of course, the master volume varies depending on what our sound man needs from me and if we're gonna just, you know, tear people's faces off or not. You know? And that's really it. Um, there's no, I don't channel switch. Um, you know, th this isn't a dynamic style of music for terms of up and down, up and down, you know. It's not fusion or, or, or blues rock or anything, so. And then I use um, Dunlop Jazz 3s. Usually I have different ones that are gold, but I don't have any in my pocket right now. So this is just a, um, it's an old red one that I've been chewing on. And that's it. And 
Now I lost that too. But yeah, and it's just got a really nice point on it for grinding and you know playing metal. And uh, that's about it, really. That's all there is to it. All right, so you can uh, check it out on the on the interwebs and the interplanetary everything's out there, and you can go to the Instagrams, the Facebook, and the official website for Venom Inc. Just look it up. You can find it. It'll be the top hit on your browser.